Good evening. My name is Mr. Nettleford, Trevor Nettleford. I have an inquiring mind. Cat flaps, cat flaps. What is the sense in cat flaps? <laughs> Whose idea was cat flaps? How come cats have all the flaps? <laughs> I don't have a man flap. A little spider doesn't have a little spider flap. So why do cats have the monopoly on flaps? I hate the way they come into your house through the cat flap, looking at you. Rubbing it in, as if to say, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Where's your flap then? <laughs> ha! You are flapless. <laughs> Take your cat and your flap and bugger her off. <laughs> TV shows, TV shows. Why? At the end of a TV show, does the man always say, we'll see you at the same time next week? Don't forget to tune in. If you tune in the same time next week, the program will be finished. <laughs> Where is the logic in that? What kind of sense is that? <laughs> Take your TV show and horror. <laughs> babies, babies. I don't trust babies, I think they're up to something. They're always creeping and crawling around. Stand up straight like normal human beings. <laughs> and they never talk to you, do they, babies? All this goo goo ga ga, speak bloody English. <laughs> I don't trust babies as far as I can show them, and that's a pretty long bloody way. <laughs> that is why you need a babysitter. Because if you didn't have a babysitter, the minute you leave the house, they'd be on the phone ringing off a baby pizza, <laughs> dancing to Fisher Price music, <laughs> letting all their friends into the cat flap. <laughs> Take your baby and hug her off. James Bond. No, wait a second. Shag pile carpets. <laughs> Shagpile Carpets! Shagpile Carpets! What kind of name is Shagpile Carpet? <laughs> Who thought of Shagpile Carpets? What's next? Bunking rugs? <laughs> Fornicating placemats? I want to know. James Bond. <laughs> With no rehearsal at all. <laughs> James Bond. I don't trust James Bond. Every time you see him, he looks different. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, it blows up. He goes to China, it blows up. He goes to Russia, it blows up. He goes to Jamaica, it blows up. That's why he never goes home. If he did, it would blow up. Every time you see James Bond, he's snugging up a woman. He goes to Jamaica, he's snugging up a woman. He goes to China, he's snugging up a woman. He goes to Russia, he's snugging up a woman. And you never hear him say, where's my condoms? <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. By the way, have you got any Johnnies for the weekend? <laughs> so there must be millions of James Bond babies all over the world. These would be dangerous children. You put the nappy on them, it blow up. You give them a rusk, it blow up. Them kiss grandma, she blow up. I don't want to be near these children. Anyway, they don't exist, you know why? Because every time James Bond snugs with a woman, the next time she's here, she's being shot or strangled or drowned. This is an extreme form of contraception. <laughs> My name is Trevor Nettleford. I am finished.